Now, your 21 Alive First Alert forecast. Good Monday morning. Give yourself a little extra time as you get ready to head out on the roads. Roads are wet right now thanks to some overnight showers we had and a few lingering early this morning. The good news is, though, this morning is not going to be messy as temperatures are still well above freezing in some spots. 39 right now in Fort Wayne. The coldest spot on the map is Steuben County at 36 degrees, 39 in Van Wert, 40 in Markle, 41 right now in Portland. Farther south you go, the warmer the temperatures are. That's thanks to a warm front that is slowly sliding through. You can see it just barely to our south. All the precipitation we had late last night into early this morning really riding along this front and it's providing a perfect train. As we go through the rest of the day, we'll see some spotty precipitation and you can even see some right now over in Steuben County and to Williams County right now. A couple of rain showers and even a few snow showers attempting to work in. But keep in mind, temperature is still above freezing, so this isn't going to be a messy situation. You might see a couple of spotty, sloppy flakes try to come down, but eventually start to melt. We've even got a couple of spotty showers pushing out of Jay County early this morning. This is pretty much what we're going to be dealing with. We won't have a complete washout by any means, so that is the good news, but we will deal with periods of a couple of spotty showers. So probably the best idea to just have the umbrella handy or bring it with you as you get ready to head out. Something very big to note when it comes to this Monday is we're going to have a very big difference in temperatures, really depending on where you live on the map. By about 4 o'clock, this is generally when we start to see some of those high temperatures come out. Look at the difference. Mid-40s, closer to the Michigan line. Mid-50s to even, I think, pushing upper 50s here in Allen County. And hitting 60s down towards the south. I think pushing those 70s might be a little close to uh, out there. But nonetheless, it is going to be a huge difference. Tracking close to a 20-degree difference across the area. As we go towards later on tonight, colder air settles in and we will slowly see temperatures go back down into the 30s. So all in all, we will be watching very closely as that warm front lags across the region, providing that big temperature difference. If you see the 60s today, soak it up and enjoy it while you can, because unfortunately the Climate Prediction Center puts not just Indiana, but almost the entire country with below average temperatures over the next two weeks. So we will be closely monitoring that. You can even see in my seven day forecast. Unfortunately, today the warmest day as we go towards tomorrow back into the mid 40s, but we are dealing with quiet conditions. We'll be quiet and dry both Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. As we slowly near Friday, that's going to be our next big system that we will be watching. We're still a while away, still a little bit murky at the moment, but it does have the potential to bring us both rain and snow. I will tell you right now, Kayla, though, temperatures have been trending for Friday into the 40s. If we keep up on that trend, we'll likely see very little snow, if any, and then that cold front quickly comes in behind and we're going to be back into the 30s for the weekend. We have seen so much rain this winter. I know we need to, uh, you know, I hate to say it. I'm usually not the snow lover here. I think that's pretty well known, but I think we need to start mixing it up just a little bit. Yeah, we need one more good <laughs> snow. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> maybe just a little flake. Okay, that's fair. Liz, thank you so much.